Reboot your credit card with Apple Card. It gives you unlimited daily cash back that can earn 4.15% annual percentage yield when you open a savings account. A high yield, low effort way to grow your money with no fees. Apply for Apple Card now in the Wallet app on iPhone to start earning and growing your daily cash with savings today. Apple Card subject to credit approval. Savings is available to Apple Card owners subject to eligibility. Savings accounts by Goldman Sachs Bank USA. Member FDIC. Terms apply. Hi, everyone. I'm Leah Thomas, and I'm the founder of Intersectional Environmentalist and the host of the As She Rises podcast. Each week on As She Rises, we're connecting the power of poetry with the work of local activists to create an intimate portrait of climate change. This season, we're highlighting stories of resilience from the Colorado River Basin. The Colorado River is a vast and powerful body of water. It's the main source of water for 40 million people living in the American Southwest. But today, in its 23rd year of drought, the future of the river and the communities that surround it remains unclear. For stories of hope that personalize the elusive magnitude of climate change, listen to As She Rises wherever you get your podcasts. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about trendsetters, women whose vision, style, and willingness to break barriers changed culture, from what we wear to how we behave. Today, we're talking about an innovative, surrealist designer who blended fashion with art. Her collections were known for their unconventional themes, like insects and the human body. She even created her own color, shocking pink. Let's talk about Elsa Scaparelli. Elsa Scaparelli was born in 1890 in the Corsini Palace in Rome. Growing up amidst paintings and sculptures, Elsa developed an artistic eye. Over time, she grew bored with the aristocratic life and left Rome for London and Paris. It was in Paris that Elsa began to feel alive. In her memoir, she remembered thinking, this is the place where I am going to live. During a trip to London, she met and married her husband. In 1920, Elsa gave birth to a daughter before her husband abandoned the family. Elsa took odd jobs to keep herself afloat, but she was not down on her luck for long. Paris came calling with a job offer, and Elsa took the opportunity to return to the city that had her heart. Elsa immersed herself in the Parisian Dadaist community, an avant-garde art movement. They fought conformity, capitalism, and colonialism with nonsense and irrationality. Her personal contacts eventually brought her to French fashion designer Paul Poiret, who became her mentor. But it wasn't easy. Elsa's first fashion house was a flop. Despite having good reviews, her clothing didn't sell well, and she closed up shop in 1926. She didn't give up. Just one year later, Elsa had her first international hit, a trompe l'oeil bow sweater. The black sweater featured a large white bow and white cuffs woven into the fabric. Vogue called the sweater an artistic masterpiece. Elsa received multiple purchase orders for the knit, and by the end of the year, she had enough interest and capital to once again open her own business. Elsa burst onto the fashion stage with a captivating force. Her designs were soon seen on A-list stars like Greta Garbo, Katharine Hepburn, Mae West, and the Duchess of Windsor, Wallace Simpson. Elsa was one of the first designers to use modern fabrics like rayon, lurex, and thick velvets, even clear plastic. Her unique use of material wasn't the only thing that set her apart in the fashion world. She also made everyday pieces more practical. She designed bathing suits with built-in bras and matching jackets for evening gowns. Elsa's most daring designs came when she collaborated with surrealist artist Salvador Dali. The duo first collaborated in 1935 to create a powder compact that resembled a rotary phone dial. Two years later, they designed the sexually suggestive lobster dress. A white dress with a giant red lobster painted down the front. The Duchess of Windsor was photographed in the dress on her honeymoon. They also worked together on legendary pieces like the shoe hat, a skeleton dress, and the tears dress, inspired by Dali's depictions of women with torn skin. The inspiration did not stop with Dali. 
One of Elsa's collections featured insect appliques and butterfly trimmings. She paired black with striking colors, including her own creation, a bright fuchsia shade she called Shocking Pink. In 1938, Elsa released her most daring collections. She began with the now-famous Circus Collection, which featured novelty motifs like prancing horses, performing elephants, acrobats, tents, and clowns. Le Cirque was followed by her Astrology Collection, which featured the Zodiac Jacket. Celestial embroideries spun across the midnight blue velvet, including her trademark design of the Big Dipper, and all 12 Zodiac symbols ran down the opening and neck. The piece was so coveted that it sold at auction in 2013 for almost $200,000. She rounded out that year with a Commedia dell'arte-themed show, full of harlequin prints and jingling bells. Elsa's success came to a halt at the start of World War II. She left Paris for New York, leaving collections to be designed by her associates. While in New York, Elsa gave fashion lectures and became the first European to win the Neiman Marcus Fashion Award. After the war, Elsa moved back to Paris, but struggled to gain the same success. While still innovative, her collections failed to wow the post-war audience, and Elsa shut down her design house in 1954. That same year, Elsa published her memoir, Shocking Life, before entering retirement. She spent the rest of her life in Paris, occasionally appearing. In 1973, Elsa suffered a stroke and spent seven weeks in a coma before passing away. She was 83 years old. Elsa Scaparelli's innovative fashions were on display at the Philadelphia Museum of Art in 2003, before the brand was purchased in 2007. Today, the brand continues to create avant-garde pieces that blend Elsa's surrealist roots with modern flair. Clad in Scaparelli, celebrities like Beyonce and Lady Gaga have inspired a new generation of fashionistas to follow Elsa's motto, dare to be different. All month, we're talking about trendsetters. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Hi, everyone. I'm Leah Thomas, and I'm the founder of Intersectional Environmentalist and the host of the As She Rises podcast. Each week on As She Rises, we're connecting the power of poetry with the work of local activists to create an intimate portrait of climate change. This season, we're highlighting stories of resilience from the Colorado River Basin. The Colorado River is a vast and powerful body of water. It's the main source of water for 40 million people living in the American Southwest. But today, in its 23rd year of drought, the future of the river and the communities that surround it remains unclear. For stories of hope that personalize the elusive magnitude of climate change, listen to As She Rises wherever you get your podcasts. They said earning a degree was going to dictate my schedule. But WGU gave me the chance to work full-time and take my classes during my lunch hour, 4 a.m., or just whenever I had the time. Learn how you can earn a flexible degree at wgu.edu. Harper Wilde is creating a more comfortable world for womankind, starting with the world's most comfortable bras and underwear, which are tested by real people with real bodies who say things like, it feels like clouds are holding up my ladies, or the holy grail of bras, and... You'll have to pry these bras out of my cold, dead hands. That comfortable. Get $15 off your order with code COMFY at HarperWild.com. That's code COMFY at HarperWild.com.